if you're really looking for a good deal on your home lab gear, this is what you need to do. Having a home lab is serious business. And having a home lab on Black Friday is downright dangerous. I had like 30 things in my Amazon cart this morning, and now I have 37. So right now, if you're into home labbing and looking for a deal on Black Friday, this is the video for you. Of course, links will be in the description and they're all Amazon links or most of them at least. But Amazon's not the only place that you can find a good deal like this. All of the big box retailers and even some of the smaller ones and dedicated OEMs have great deals right now. Check out Best Buy and Newegg and hell, even Walmart. That being said, let's look at some of the best Black Friday deals for home labbers in 2025. We can start off with storage. They have a lot of great deals on NAS units right now, including the Ugreen DH4300 Plus. I actually just did a review on this like a month ago. That video is on my channel if you wanna go check it out. I use this pretty much every day. We replaced Google Cloud and iCloud with this. And right now for 339, that's a really sweet deal on Markdown from over 400 bucks. But also there's a smaller version of that that's a two bay with a one gig network connection. If you're interested, a little bit cheaper, under 200 bucks, $167. QNAP has some as well. Like this one's got a two gig uh, network four bays and the quad core processor and it's an intel processor so it's x86 but if you are trying to provide storage for the entire campus you need the dxp 8800 it's a monstrous eight bay nas with eight gigs of ddr5 a 10 core cpu dual 10 gig connections and dual nvme slots up to 256 terabytes of, of raw storage so if you're a data hoarder this could be a really good deal for you to expand and what's obviously a problem, go get help. You need help. For the storage though, you need drives to put in them. Right now, they also have a good deal on the Western Digital Red. These are CMR drives. These are made for NASs. Lots of read writes, they're built to last. They have the Red Pro and they also have the Red Plus. So the difference there, the Red Pros have uh, their faster spinnings versus the Red Plus, which is I think 5,400 RPM or 5,600 RPM, somewhere around there. Moving on, our next category of home lab gear is network. So think switches, access points, routers, travel routers, things like that. And realistically on Amazon, you're not going to find a lot of enterprise gear. Home labs typically are comprised of stuff that the office threw away. They upgraded and replaced and you got the old gear. If you're looking for upgrades, whether it's home lab or not, if you want like a whole house mesh network, let's see. Amazon makes the Eero device, which for 369 I guess that's not bad for Wi-Fi 7 for three devices that'll cover the majority of the house, depending on the size of your house, of course. But access points themselves, TP-Link has the Wi-Fi 6, EAP 670, and 610. The 610 is on sale for 75 bucks. That's actually a really good deal if you're looking to upgrade from like Wi-Fi 4 or Wi-Fi 5. It doesn't look like there's really a big selection of wireless uh, going on on Amazon as far as access points. But what is shining right now is Ubiquity has some pretty good deals. However you feel about their devices, I think they're pricey for what they are. They do have a good Black Friday deal that ends in seven days. It'll be shorter by the time you're watching this. But they've got the Dream Router 7 for 229, 230 bucks. Cloud Gateway Max for 180 bucks. That's more than enough typically for most people. The Dream Router has Wi-Fi built in, I believe. So PoE switch, yes, plus integrated Wi-Fi 7. Anyway, that's a pretty good deal if you're kind of looking for a starting point and you want to get into Ubiquity, this would be a good place to start. They also have an eight port PoE switch for 329. That's a little expensive, I think, for a two and a half gig PoE switch. If you want to go the traditional route of APs and networking core, this could be a good option. If you get any of them, the six plus is a pretty good deal at a hundred bucks. If you're in the Ubiquity ecosystem, Ecosystem. Another device that looks like a great deal that actually I had in my cart and talks myself out of it, I'm like, you don't need it, is a Wi-Fi 7 portable router. This one's the GL iNet GLBE 3600 dual band pocket router. It's got a two and a half gig connection, portable VPN um, for travel. Um, but for 120 bucks, if you're looking
looking for this type of device for a travel router, this might be the one to get. Um, oh, look, TP-Link's got one that's even cheaper for $100, uh, Slate 7 and the TP-Link BE3600 for a travel router. Not a bad deal. Any good home lab has got to have battery backups. Really anything that has data or any type of sensitive information, you need a battery on it. APC has a new backups pro gaming UPS. That's a 1500 VA. So it's a, like around 900 watt max capacity, but it looks sweet. Look at this thing. That is freaking cool, but it, it looks really good. They're obviously appealing to gamers here. And this is appealing to me as well. And for a little over 200 bucks. So this is on sale from 310 down to uh, 240. If you made it this far in the video and you learned something today, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see a greater category Black Friday video that's like solar and 3D printing and other things that us geeks typically are also into. Leave a comment. Let me know. The next home lab category I want to talk about is compute. So virtualizations, PCs, mini PCs, things like that as far as compute. So the one that really stood out to me is this. This is the Minis Forum MSA2. More of a mini workstation than a mini PC. It's got a full Ryzen 9 9955HX. So that's 16 core CPU in here, 64 gigs of RAM and a terabyte SSD for two, two and a half gig LAN, two 10 gig SSD. SFP support for NVMEs. So it's got a PCIe X16 slot that's running at PCIe Gen 4 X8 speed. This is on sale for about 200 bucks off at 1240 markdown from 1420. And they got a lot of different flavors to choose from here that start at around 400 bucks buy it bare bones and load it up with the storage and RAM that you already have. The other ones, if you're not looking for a monster machine like that, another minis form is an MSO1 mini workstation. That's an i9-13900H with 32 gigs of DDR5 and a terabyte SSD. This actually would be a really good virtualization host considering it's got that high speed networking connectivity already built in. You don't have to add to it or anything. The Geekom IT15. So I have the Geekom IT12 running my AI cluster. This this is like a way step beyond with an i9-1300, 13900HK, and that's 770. So the Intel Ultra 9 with 32 gigs of DDR5, two terabyte SSD, up to eight terabytes, and it does have the, the iGPU for the rest of us uh, normies that actually are kind of broke hoes these days. 400 bucks, I'll mark down from 500. The MSI QB5 is a six core Intel, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, and it comes with Windows 11 Pro. I think all those came with Windows, except maybe the Minis Forum uh, didn't come with an OS. Oh, this does have dual NICs as well. So it's got a two and a half gig and a one gig connection. This could be a decent virtualization host as a starting point, especially if you're willing to add to it over time. So for $500, you can get an i3 with 32 gigs, or you can get an i5 with 16 gigs. I would get the i5 because you can always add another 16 gig stick later. Minis Forum does have a lot on Black Friday sale, or at least markdown this week as well. Well, I need to move on because I could sit here and talk about compute virtualization and mini PCs on infrastructure all day. So when it comes to infrastructure, meaning like racks, they don't have much on sale on Amazon right now. They've got this 12U with a glass door. They got a 15U as well. They also have a six and a nine if you need something small and basic. This could be a good little network box. Don't expect to slap a server in here, not a full size like rack mount server. You could fit mini PCs, all your, your switches and your networking gear, put a couple of fans in the top and bottom, lock it down, nobody's gonna touch it. So if you're in a shared environment or at an office or something, this could be a good option for 130 bucks. So this is actually the exact one you can see. I purchased this on September 8th of 2023. This is on sale from 378 to 348. So, you know, 30 bucks off or whatever. This has been a good rack for me because it's totally extendable. The kicker here, when you are getting a rack, a network rack, get it on casters. It definitely comes in handy when you need to pull it out, get to something in the back, kind of organize things and then push it back. Just get wheels on the damn thing from the start and thank me later. And you know what? 
Every home lab is not a complete home lab until you have a 3D printer. Being able to 3D print mounts and different configurations and custom cases or custom adapters, it pays for itself in no time with the full customization and mod capabilities that you have. On Black Friday right now, there are some decent deals that I could actually say are, are worth looking into, like, like this one, the Creality K1SE. So for 236 bucks, this was less than my first Ender 3. I paid 300 bucks for my first couple of Ender 3s. And hell, this is pretty much, well, this is the new version of the Ender 3 that I have that's under $200 on Black Friday. Flash Forge has an 85M, which is about the same build volume, maybe a little bit smaller as the Creality K1, $229. Most of these these days, you're all gonna have your self-bed leveling. They're all gonna have fill runout sensors, the important stuff that are basic nowadays that just weren't an option on the 3D printers that I have when I was buying them. And then there's this guy that I still haven't bought and I really want to get one of these. The AD5X by Flash Forge is a four material auto switching printer. It looks pretty cool at a multi-color, multi-material potentially printer for just over 300 bucks. But there's a lot of printers on sale right now, including the original Prusa Mark 4S for 1100 marked down from 1300 that's a workhorse that thing is going to just run forever now we're on to endpoints and forgotten components and smart home stuff if you're into that i am not a mac user for the most part by default i use windows at work i use windows here i'm using windows right now but my 2020 m1 macbook air that i got from a guy on facebook for like 300 bucks that thing works so well for most basic needs that makes me take a look at this MacBook Air with the M4 chip for 750 mark down from a thousand bucks as a really good investment. Something that I could keep and use for a really long time. Anyway, the deals here, 750 mark down from a thousand bucks. That's a pretty good deal if you're in the market. This is like a knockoff Samsung. I've got this pretty much same machine, same monitor, 49 inch, ultra, ultra wide, curved display. I use it in the office every day. That's my day job monitor now. And that was a $1,200 monitor. This is on sale for half that for 600 bucks marked down from 800. Something else that I saw that's pretty cool is a lap dock. So you can essentially plug in your mini PCs or your phone. Samsung has this natively with the Samsung Dex where you can use this as a laptop. So big screen, monitor, keyboard, all of that on your Android system or mini PC, anything that can communicate over USB-C as far as video and data. You can plug all of this in and basically have a, a standalone workstation. 170 bucks. It's a cool novelty. I don't know if I'd use it enough to buy it personally, but if you're in the market for something cool like that, so they have a 14 inch for 160. That does the same thing, but it's a little bit smaller. But if you do need a Windows laptop, right now Asus has a VivoBook Go with Windows 11 Home, but a Ryzen 5 7520U. So a fairly recent CPU here for a little over 300 bucks. Eight gigs of RAM. You're gonna wanna get another eight gig stick for that. 16 gig is pretty much the minimum running Windows 11 these days. And then something else that everybody forgets about is a label maker. Every time I get a new device, I take a label maker and I put the name of the device on its power brick so that as it ends up in my bucket of electronics, I know that that cable goes with that device. Anyway, a label maker, nobody ever really thinks about. I mean, they're cheap enough as is, but right now, basic label maker for 20 bucks. Or you can get super fancy with it that connects to your phone. That's kind of cool, actually. That connects to your phone and you can make really custom labels. I bet you the replacement labels for this are not cheap. It's actually not that bad. And then something else that we always forget about, or maybe we don't, but we're not there yet, are network cabling tools. So a tester, a network cable tester. This is a decent little kit. Again, these are not very expensive tools as is, but if you're in the market for one, now could be a good time when you save, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Like this is on sale for $22 with coupon. And this whole kit comes with your network cable tester and some cutters, RJ45 ends to start, and this little sheath stripping tool, which is definitely a necessity 
And then if you're really into smart home stuff, I've got some smart home things around here. So you can go like a, a dumb smart home with just smart plugs that power all the things. That's great for some devices, but it doesn't really have smart connection built into it. So having a keypad lock is one thing. Having a lock to your house that's connected to the internet, I would stay away from that. Just being a guy in IT, I would stay far away from that. The smart thermostats, nice to have, same kind of reason though. So if you're into smart home stuff, they've got some decent deals going on right now. Smart switch for 10 bucks. Save a little bit of money if you're in the market for it. Now, here is a professional bonus tip for you. And this doesn't tie back to any affiliate links or codes or anything. If you're really looking for a good deal on your home lab gear, this is what you need to do. Realistically, the best deals that you're gonna find on home lab gear is other people upgrading their home lab. So they bought new servers, they bought new smart home gear, new switches and a new network, and they're gonna sell their old stuff. So eBay, Facebook Marketplace. One I recently found is on Reddit, r slash home lab sales. Like look at this guy here, clearing out my home lab. We'll use this to list a number of items. All of this old home lab gear that he's selling at a decent price. All right, pretend you didn't see this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out to this guy. This could be a really good place to find used gear if you're willing to kind of scroll through and find a deal. But that's really where you're gonna find your sweet spot is somebody else that upgraded their home lab and now they're selling their last gen or two gen old gear that you can snag up for super cheap. So that's how I'm looking at Black Friday this year. There were a couple of really good deals that realistically did make it into my cart. And it's not just like what's cheap, but actually what is gonna move my home lab forward. A lot of the stuff I mentioned today, I already have. I don't need more. I got a bunch of mini PCs. I've got server infrastructure. That four color 3D printer though sure is tempting. As I mentioned before, all the links will be down below. Amazon on links or affiliate links. Again, I get a little something if you use my code or my my link. Everything else just goes to like Best Buy and Newegg and, and I'll even leave a link to the Reddit r slash home lab sales for easy access if you want to check that out. Drop a comment and tell me what's that one home lab piece that you're hunting for this season that you're looking for a great deal on. So if this video helped you not completely wreck your wallet, then smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I will see you nerds on the next one.